I'm BMS, and welcome back to Let's Play Hero Core Part 3, Annihilation Mode. And this should be El Grande Finale, hopefully with any luck. Now, right off the bat, we're greeted with the last major challenge of this mode, aside from the final boss, of course. And it's this guy, the Annihilator. He's, yeah, as you can see, pretty mean. He likes to shoot those super charged blasts, I guess you could call them, at you. And uh, he's, of course, on his hard mode pattern, so he fires them off, kind of like a machine gun. Totally bitchin', and he likes to pin you in corners, which, you know, not very fun at all. He also has a crap load of health. Well, uh, let's just say for reference, each one of our little pellets does one hit point worth of damage. This guy has about 126. Considering we don't have any of our upgrades, he does a lot of damage to us and we do very little to him. Major bummer. Now you have two areas that you can attack him. You can either shoot him in the head, or you can shoot him in his little tail there. Now, basically, what you're going to want to do is circle around him like that. Hopefully try to keep him in the center of the area. That way you can, number one, avoid his death attack there. That's pretty much instant death if you get caught in it. Very bad. And stay out of the corners because, as you just saw, he likes to trap you in there. Now, it's important to note that when he does that right there, that super attack there, you cannot damage him, so... Definitely want to run. But it's easy to recognize when he's going to do it because he flashes just like that. Easy peasy, Japanesey. What makes this battle really hard is that you have to deal with all of those slow moving little pellets that he fires off that slowly move throughout the room. And we're already down to one more hit's gonna ice our cake. Will we make it? I do know. A good fight with the Annihilator will take roughly eh, three to four minutes to actually complete here. Now, it's not near as bad as on hard mode, because there's a room there, on hard mode, where you have to fight two of these guys in the same room. Not very fun at all. In fact, I have bad memories. In fact, this is actually a piece of cake compared to that, so, yeah. But still, it's not very easy. Anyway, you get the point. Should be about there, come on. Hey, Viola! Now let's go back and save here. Of course, if you pay attention to the bottom of the screen, it will tell you how I do the little warp maneuver there. Now that we've unlocked, or that, excuse me, that we've beaten the Annihilator, we can take on our final boss before the, well, final boss. Yeah, that, that makes sense, sure. And it's the Elite. Now, those that have played through the main game or on hard mode will know that in that, there's actually two of these guys that you have to take on, but for some reason, Daniel Ramar was nice enough to make it where we only had to fight one here. I was really expecting both of them to show up, but say like Gare, I'm not going to complain. Now he's, well, just a copy of you. His little pellets that he shoots out don't hardly do any damage, even without the upgraded suits. And the only attack that you really have to watch out for is that one right there. It's called Expel. Now, it does take up some of his life, but hardly anything worth mentioning. And you're going to want to get as far away from him as possible, naturally. And if you can, either get directly north, south, east, or west of him, because it makes it a lot easier to dodge. Something else that you're going to want to pay attention to is that he likes to kind of try to go kamikaze on your ass, as you just saw there. Now, if you have to make the choice between either getting shot by him, or getting smacked, or, uh, excuse me, or getting ran into by him, Always take the pellet, because, as you've seen, the pellet does hardly any damage. While if you actually run into him, or vice versa, you're going to take about eh, three times as much as you would from getting shot. Not to mention you have invincibility after getting shot, and I think if he runs into you, your invincibility frames don't last near as long. So yeah, that's very bad. Stay away from him is basically what I'm trying to get across to you here. And this is basically what the battle is. It's just a hand-to-hand -hand dogfight seeing who can outlast the other. He's not really that hard once you get kind of into the groove here, if you know what I mean. Basically, you're going to just want to try to circle around him and have him follow you around in just a giant circle. And you should be able to take him out relatively easy. This is, of course, assuming that you were able to take out the turrets at the very start of the battle without taking a lot of damage, because those turrets are really... They're basically what turn the tide in this battle. If they damage you about a quarter or eh, 
about a third or a half of your health, then you're pretty much screwed. But if you can kill both turrets without losing that much health, then you should be able to ice the poor little elite dude here, which he's only got one more bar of health left. There we go. It's also interesting to note that if he gets really low on health, he won't be able to use his expel attack, because like I said, it takes health and he won't kill himself in the process. A final area here, threat level 15, Massacre, which is a double reference, because there's slaughtered shit all over the place, and it's a reference to EG. Now that's actually Morse code there that reads basically the Zen Trident, which is just another EG reference. And here is the final EG reference, the Living War Machine. Now first off, before we get started here, I absolutely love the music that, uh, that goes along with this fight. I know it's Tetron's battle theme, but still, I think it fits this fight a lot better. Now once again, those of you that have played EG probably were expecting this. This is a Kamado Annihilator. And yeah, he's armed with the Massacre weapon, hence the double meaning of the uh, area name. And he's about to fire his Massacre weapon there. It's an insta-kill, in case you were wondering. You should be able to figure that out, considering it covers the entire screen. But it also does, I think, 16 points worth of damage to him every time he fires it, so that's interesting. Although that's kind of chump change compared to his overall hit points, because I think he has about 256 if memory serves. Yeah. He only has two attack patterns, which he uses in order, in the same order, every time. He has, this is his second one, you've seen how to dodge him. Basically, once you learn how to get around him, you're good to go. Real easy, but it's kind of confusing because there's a lot of crap going on at once. Also, before this battle ends, which it just did, I gotta say that I really love the fire effect when he sets the ceiling and the floor on fire, how it overheats you and you can't shoot back at him. I thought that was a really nice touch to that. Gave it an extra boost of challenge there that it needed. Anyway, with that out of the way, we have beaten Annihilation Mode! You should feel very accomplished doing this, because it's very tough, as you see. I know I made it look somewhat simple, which is really linear. There's not a lot of exploration involved, but it's one of those bullet hell type deals, and it's, yeah. Very complicated and very tough. You'll pull your hair out, trust me. Anyway, with that out of the way, Flip Hero then headed on to Tetron's main base and ultimately killed the evil renegade robot. Overall, I thought this was good. I thought it was a nice touch that he actually added a prequel, even though it was just a side story. But still, it was a nice touch to add to the game. The mechanics of this thing are great. Seriously, for the type of game that it is, just a simple 2D shooter, it really is good. The controls are, the controls are fluid. It's not too difficult, unless of course you pick hard mode, then it's kind of rip your hair out insane. But still, it's the average difficulty is great. The enemy variety, everything is good about this game. It, it's probably a perfect example of how this type of game should be. So definitely, links in the description, go download that shit. Also, love the EG references. It was kind of interesting going through EG playing this and listening, hearing all the stuff about uh, the Annihilator that went batshit here on the Sirotako. And then actually getting to fight it. He went batshit by the way just to increase his kill count. He had the new weapon, and yeah, he... The, see, the Annihilators, they have a kill counter inside their heads-up display. Yeah. He got overzealous. But you don't want to hear any more about that. Oh, no, no. What do you want? You want secrets. Now, this is a secret that I was... Actually, I've just discovered it about a day ago, and... Yeah. So let's go check this out. First, you're going to want to go back to the engine room. Mosey on up here through this little passageway, and out of the top left corner will come... A giant stretchy arm that will seemingly grab Flip Hero and drag him off to the dreaded triple question mark area that's loaded with flowers and what seem to be bugs flying around. At the very end, there's a headstone, and on the headstone it reads, Trollis, which makes absolutely no sense to me at all. I mean, if you know what it, if you know what it means, hey, preach that shit, because I have no idea. Anyway, that is, I hope the uh, only secret of Annihilation Mode. It's the only one that I've been able to find. And, uh, of course, mosey on back to that little four-dot area there that we can transport back to the engine room with. 
And while I go fight the Annihilator for one more time, in closing, I would just like to say, you definitely need to go check this game out, because it's really good, it's really well put together, smooth, good controls, everything. Like I say, I'm harping on that, but trust me, you need to try this for yourself, it's worth it, believe me, you will not be disappointed, and yeah. Even with auto-fire, I'm not faring too well here. But anyway, link is in the, in the uh, description, go check it out. Check out his other games too, Daniel Ramar, he's like a god with Game Maker, alright? Hell, I don't know how he does it, I can barely make it past the fucking tutorial. But, you know, I play him, I don't make him, so, yeah. Wow, uh, we're not doing too well here against Mr. Annihilator. Can I make it for one grand finale showing of skill? No. Okay, anyway, I've been BMS. Hope you enjoy. Catch you later.